Hello, Collective. Um, welcome back to another reading. Well, let's jump in. Um, and, <clears throat> oh my god. Um, yeah, let's just jump in. Uh, so, cleansing. Your energy. It's very, very, very needed to do so. Especially with this eclipse view coming through. Do your cord cuttings. Do your banishing spells, do your purifying spells, burn you a black or white candle, do some intentional work, do something. Get rid of it. Listen to uh, meditation music to cut cords, you know, uh, do Reiki, shake them, um, something, you know what I mean? Because it's time to get rid of these cords. These cords are gone and going, and if you want to hold on to it, then you can, but it ain't, <laughs> it ain't in it, you know. And I want to apologize for the energy swings recently, but if if y'all have know about what's going on in the energy, you damn, cause fucking. Before we even get to the reading, let me explain this. <laughs> I've been feeling this super rude eclipse for a minute, and it's been affecting not only me, um, but it's been testing me in my personal life. I'm not gonna like go into detail about why, but like, and. Let me tell you, oh my god, I have learned so much, and all I can do is sit back and be happy about it, <clears throat> but at the same time, I'm, like, drained and stressed, and last night was probably the best rejuvenating night I have ever had, um, and I, I don't know. It just really put me back into square one. So I've just been all over the place with you all. So don't think I'm over here and like smiling and, and dancing. I'm sitting here fucking like drooling at the mouth. Like, damn, like this is taking forever. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm here with you all. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's all about keeping the, the smile on them. You know, not even a fake one, but a genuine one. Because it's just, it's just how it is. Uh, but we have the four cups. And the seven of pentacles reverse to the six of pentacles reverse and the star reverse. Now the seven of the, and the six of pentacles have been coming out back to back a lot recently. Um, so, and that's just telling me you're not getting the efforts for your work, you know? Do you want to, you should, the divine's wanting you to take a minute to, to look. You know, maybe you're in your head. The star reverse. You chose what the divine gave you, right? But it doesn't seem like it's worth. And you're just not receiving what you uh, thought you would by now. Or, you know, yeah, with the Knight of Wands. You're, you're not, like, you're kind of, you, you move forward with this energy. <clears throat> even though it didn't, you know, seem, yeah, yeah. And the only okay, so that's that's interesting because this is something that this is like you worried about something not working, not coming in, something not giving you reward because you've been putting a lot of effort into it, but you've seen little to no progress, and it's like, damn, what the fuck's going on? You know what I mean? Like, I'm sorry for the, I'm I'm like, I don't, I I know I've been off for for cussing for a minute, but it, it might slip back in a few times today. Sorry about that. Um, we'll work on it though, but it's like. I was like, what the hell's coming in? Like, why is it taking so long? Because the Knight of Wands, you've been putting all your effort in, but the Four of Pentacles reversed, it's out of your control. Let go. Don't worry about it. Just let go. Um, you know? Yeah, with the Emperor reversed, there's a need to give your control to the Divine because this is something the Divine's doing. You've worked on it long enough with the higher fit. <clears throat> it's time to realize that there are two people or two things working on this. And it's the two things aren't even to do with just you. It's you and the divine that are working together in, 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 in tandem. And there's a need to <clears throat> really allow that to come through and let the divine do its work. You know? They they want to see this blow up for you just as much as you would like to see it, you know? So don't worry. Yeah, with the magician. <clears throat> and oddly enough, I am picking up that if you have done some sort of spell work, it has worked. Um, 
that's coming through right now. So if you did like a spell uh, yesterday that it worked, um, I'm not going to spoil what you did, but I see you set up. <laughs> I'm sorry. See, that's the thing. When you reach it, like, you got to be careful. But like, they wanted, they wanted to know that it worked. Like, it's good. You, you successfully banished it. You successfully cleansed the energy. There's also something about, I'm not going to go into do too depth of it i am hearing it though um but um you need to do divination on uh the effects soon um and that's for someone specific that might be for a group of people specific but i'm seeing someone like very specific because the sun came right after the magician so like this is just clarification for this as well but like may if you were you know because i know i'm picking up on someone as well that did like some sort of like you know magic to to help either themselves or a friend out um because they were lacking in nourishment in an area um but it worked you know they just you know now it's now it's doing the work the work that the divine wants to do you've done all the work on the physical now the divine has to do things so if the divine starts moving you around it's because this it's going through so don't worry about that and if you haven't done anything then this is just your normal efforts you know take it as it resonates but i have to say what the divine says i don't really care if you do magic or not that's not of importance you know that's like your ego sticking out go go somewhere else with that please we got it you know i'm not reading for you i'm reading for a whole bunch of people well i am reading for you but i'm also reading for a bunch of people as well but anyway we have the queen of cups upright and the seven of swords reversed um yeah, it's just really trusting your intuition. So don't double down. Don't be like, oh, it didn't work. Or, oh, like, I can't do this. I can't do that. Because whatever you did worked. And whatever you're doing right now to help you move forward to a Ten of Pentacles situation is working. And all you have to do is keep declining. Yeah, oh, the Three of Cups reverse. You got to keep declining these other paths with the King of Cups. Because there's something about... It's like you've seen it before, and I'm gonna tell you this because it's like it's coming up, and it's like it's a Facebook image for sure. But you know, you see the Facebook image of the dude who's digging in a mine, and one of them's turning back, and the other one's about to strike diamond and gold. It's like the divine is showing me that you tested that out before, and it it proved to be right. Like you were doing something like it wasn't even anything like too serious, which is why you decided to do it. You're like, oh, I'm just gonna do this and see if it works and it ended up working right you know just waiting that few extra five minutes and then like everything just kind of fell together right <clears throat> there's a need to know that that's going to happen again you just need to stay very strong you need to hold your emotional status strong you know what i mean your feeling status strong however you wish to say it because there this yeah, this is this unionship. This is how this unionship comes together. This harmony, this calmness, where you're able to know that things are going off around you, but you're able to stay calm, but not in the fact that you give up, but in the fact that you're working on things still and you're allowing just your calm energy to, to help you stay on track. Like, that's the that's the beginning of the unification is this harmony. This is called peace. Some of us aren't used to peace. Some of us like chaos because we're so used to chaos. Um, happening around us all the time which is fine but you know it's different between like actually liking chaos and then chaos being abuse fuel um there's a difference between that and i'm picking up on the people that were abused into liking chaos so now that there's nothing crazy going on they're accidentally manifesting the chaos in their life um be careful of that that does happen by the way people might not want to even ad like admit that but it's very true uh, i went through it myself um you will get sucked in this loop of thinking that having peace and calm is boring. But what you're not realizing is that you were feeling in your time there with like harmful activities that didn't necessarily improve anything. It kind of made you worse because instead of removing the blockage, you kind of like put stuff on top of the blockage. Um, with this peace energy where you're able to feel it that serenity is the energy just flowing through you in a different way it's able to go through all the channels in a different way and it's just clearing all the rest of the debris out 
and that might cause a bit of yeah with the ten of cups the four of wands and the queen of wands all in reverse it might make you feel weird or like something's not going right but i can assure you that everything is going just fine there's the nine of wands energy that's coming out you just like it's time to be brave and move out you might even feel like it's been too long of a time which has kind of got you worried as well but there's not a time frame like what what you think is time is not actually time. Understand that what you think is time is not actually time. Um, time is is different. If you really wanted to put time on something, time is different than you would think. But justice reverse, and that's why you're not seeing your justice is because you're like, you're counting the days behind instead of the days forward. And that's what's keeping you in this past energy. It's like, oh, I did this. And they said two weeks ago that Jeremiah was going to come over and ask me out on a date. And Jeremiah still hasn't come out and asked me on a date. So that means, so what's going on with that? Well, that just means that there's other things going on. You know, it takes two to tango. You might be ready, but is what you're ready for ready for you? You know what I mean? And are you actually ready or are you just wanting to go with the three of wands? You're wanting to go somewhere because it's of importance, but you have to send your ships out. You have to scout the waters. You got to search your emotions. You have to really dig in and, and be like, am I doing this because I'm impatient and scared and I'm trying to project this out to make it go faster? Or am I really just ready, you know, or am I just impatient or do I just am I scared? Am I can be like, what's going on? You know, what's the, all these energies? Is is the energy actually from this or is it from other things that I'm trying to get away from? Or is it just from other things in general? Or am I even feeling any of this at all? Is it just how I think I should be because of the past? Am I just reliving a past panic cycle because it's what I've been programmed to do in situations like this? And I, you know, like what's going on? It really, really get to those points and and see it and it's gonna be like what the fuck like i am rushing myself am i rushing myself because i don't feel like i'm able to do it i don't trust myself to stay in this high vibration for much longer so i have to do it tomorrow if i don't do it tomorrow then everything's gonna fail and then that's the exact day that you claim to be the day for tomorrow to, to be bad and tomorrow doesn't exist tomorrow's just a change tomorrow's an, is, a, is an evolution is the transmutation of, of, of the soon, the, the soon, the sun to the moon, excuse me. So the second you say that, you're already in tomorrow, in that bad negative energy. And you wake up tomorrow, and you're programmed to think that tomorrow's tomorrow. So you wake up tomorrow feeling even worse than yesterday. And you're like, damn, like, I fucking knew I would feel horrible today. Like, because you literally said it over your life the day before. And you used comparisons. And that might not make a lot of sense to some people when I said, and you use comparisons. But you used comparisons and you described how you would feel compared one to the other. So if you felt horrible yesterday, you're going to feel 10 times worse that tomorrow because you already said you're going to feel worse tomorrow. So how bad could it get? As bad as you are today is as bad as you're going to be tomorrow plus some more. That's what you gotta realize. You can you can you can gauge these things out because it's really just you, and it's beautiful, and it, it's real. It should allow you some sort of calm. And this doesn't need any. And remember, do not regret any of this. I I am here just to inform you of these things because people don't know it. How the fuck are you supposed to change if you don't know what the change? You know what I mean? Oh, you're you're stressed out too much. Yeah, I know. I just don't know how to get over it. Then let me give you some help. Damn. At least I could do. Um, but with strength, the five of wands, death, the wheel of fortune, and the eight of wands, this is beautiful. This is the this is the solution. This is the this is what's gonna happen. When you when you do these things, right? When when you get this grip, when you're able to and and let me tell you, because I'm picking this up right now. Someone out there and yes, I'm talking about you, is, 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 is really thinking of this process being a, a huge, grand you are thing where you have to heal from like a thousand bajillion things at once. No, you just, you can literally heal from the, from your pet, 
your childhood pet passing away. That could just be something you got to heal from. But this is the resolution. This is the result every time. Don't regret having those feelings. You know, don't regret crying or being upset that those things happened. Find the strength to fight yourself to make the change to be on top of the wheel so you can move forward. And by that, what I mean is allow yourself to be like, yes, it's a five-step program, right? You go, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Like, I'm feeling bad. You know, I've had a bad day. I'm kind of pissed off. I'm tired. I'm sleepy. I want to cry and I can't cry. I don't know what to do. I'm stressed out. Tell yourself to that, to yourself. And be like, why can't I do these things? Figure out why you're fighting with yourself by not being mad, but just questioning yourself in, in like a nice way. Like, it's nothing wrong. There's nothing bad with it. I just want to know why. Because sometimes I want to release these emotions in that way. And I'm not sure of how to release it any other way. And and get to yourself and, and combat yourself. And by combating yourself, it's not really fighting yourself or being mean. It's questioning yourself. Because you don't like being questioned. You don't like being questioned at all. And the only person that can question you is you. If someone else questions you, you might get a little mad, you know. And not everyone's different, but for the majority of people, if someone questions you, you're going to look at them like they're fucking crazy. Because it's like, why the fuck are you questioning me when I'm telling you something? Well, because they're not you. Only you are you. So if you fight yourself... You know how to calm yourself down. You are your best therapist. You got this. You make that change. You start transmuting this energy. You start really getting down and being like, you know what? I am sad that my, my childhood dog died. I was at school and I came home and I found out that it passed away. And that really disturbed me. And there's just been a part of me that's always felt weird ever since because of that. Because I never really got to say goodbye to that pet. And I kind of forgot about him. You know those things? Like, really change it and be like, you know what? It's fine that I still love that pet because the reason I still feel that emotion towards it is because that pet still loves me. That dog loves me. That cat loves me. That goldfish loves me. Whatever animal you had, that tarantula loved me. You know, that gecko loved me. Whatever. That love is still there. And that's why I feel it. And that love's coming to me in a time of support. So why is this love randomly coming to me? Oh, because I'm getting supported right now. This is the energy that I asked for a week ago. But I'm just not seeing it in that way because it's reminding me of sad things. It's the love that I miss. It's reminding me of the love that I miss. But why is the love gone? Why does the love have to be gone just because their physical body's gone? I thought love transmutes space and time. I thought love was unconditional. I thought love had no conditions in, under the realms of physics or whatever. So even if they are like in the ground or cremated or however, like there's still that love there. It's still there. You asked for it to come to you. I need that energy. That energy's love. Everything you do is out of love. That's what this energy is, is love. And the person transmutes it to whatever they want to transmute it to. But it starts off as love. Pure, divine love. The spark of life. So it's not gone. It is being given to you, but you're not seeing it the way it's intended. And you might be like, well, what do you mean I'm not seeing the way it's intended? It's a sad thing. Do you forget the law of duality? If something is sad, then it has to be good. It has to have like an opposite. You know, oh, that thing's horrible. Well, that horrible thing might have done something good for someone. Is that to say that that's like against how you feel is something good? Of course. But you're not the person that did the thing, and it's not up to you to understand that. If it's good for them, it's good for them. And if it's not good for you, it's not good for you. So you know to stay away, you know? That's really it. That's really it. Like, this, you just have to transmute that and and see the opposite. And we always, we always are like, yeah, I'll see the positive, and then I'll see the negative. But when I see the negative, I can't see the positive. And it's like, you have to. You have to balance that scale out. And once that scale is balanced, it becomes easier because then you're able to go, well, now I can weigh the options and because it's not two against one. Now it's two against two or one against one. So now I can weigh you all evenly and, and, and really pick apart and see. But that's the energy. That's how the divine is giving you this energy. It might not be the way you're expecting it. You might be wanting that money as, as, as like a cold, cold cash, you know. But that, that energy comes to you as divine love. And all you have to do is accept it, you know? 
Now, who says that energy has to be used? Now, let's jump into this because it's interesting as well. We have potential and kinetic energy. Potential energy is, isn't being used. It's being stored, but it can still generate. And kinet kinetic energy is constantly being used. It's energy in motion. That's your emotions. It's kinetic energy. Your feelings are potential, right? So you get this divine feeling, right? And you're just sitting back and you're feeling the love. And you're like, you know what? I love myself. And I really do just deserve a miracle right now. I really do. And then out of nowhere, someone just gives you $50. And you're like, huh. Like, I needed that shit. You just used the energy. What you did is you put that energy, that feeling, and you put it to a thought form. You let your feelings, you handed it to your thoughts, and your thoughts said, you know what? I deserve a miracle. On its own. It didn't take you to co coerce it to say it. it did it on its own. There was no, I don't deserve a miracle after that. There was none of that. It just happened. You just said it, and then boom, it, it happened crazy how that works and it's because you allow it to happen that's how much free will you have we're put in a world where we are limited to a physical vessel but we have unlimited ability to do whatever we want and we we spend a lot of time holding ourselves back then we would want to admit um but that's okay because we're also here to learn. And who said having this power is going to be easy? Because we have, we have all the power. We just don't know how to use it. We're unable to use it. When we use it, it's not the way the divine intended. So what do we have? Yeah, the Four of Swords Reverse, the Page of Wands Upright, and the Five of Swords Upright. So this is definitely looking back at your thoughts taking that second glance at that moment taking looks back at you know part of heal part of the healing process and like you gotta really remember the rules of opposites if in spirituality okay there's always going to be an opposite whatever you protrude on the outside is the opposite of your inside i'm gonna be honest with you you can't lie to me because i know you know it's the truth we don't want to project all that neg all that negative stuff out. So we keep it inside. It's okay. No, there's no need to be ashamed of it, you know. But, you know, allow yourself to be aware of it. And, and healing process isn't just focusing on the shadow. It's also focusing on what you've done right. Because you're always told, oh, I've done bad. And focusing on the shadow can sometimes lead to you being harder on yourself by being, fuck, I'm really messed up. Well, look at the look at the things that have gone good. And if you have none to say... Well, you're, you're healing. You're trying to heal. That's the first, that's number one. If you really want to talk like that, that's your first good thing. And that's good enough. Right there and there, that's good enough. You know what I mean? Let that be your reason. Oh, I can't. Why not? Why aren't you letting yourself have that slack? You got to, always. But that's what you got to do. You got to inspect your healing. What are you healing from? Are you healing from the negative to feel like you're healing? Or do you need to heal by focusing on the fact how much you've healed on something? Doing that can be very healing because you don't feel like you're putting enough effort in. And feeling like you're, and knowing that, not even feeling, but just knowing and seeing the effort that you put in is part of the healing process. And it shows you just how blessed and how loved you are. So continue to just love yourself and to be pure. And to be pure bliss and happiness, and to be pure joy, um, and love. There's just this energy of just transmutation. There's this cocoon that's breaking that's really just erupting of love. It's in the air, dude. It's just... Because you've done a lot of healing, and your magnetism is improving. And that's all love really is, is magnetism. But it's, it's more your authenticity that's going to increase this than love. For being authentic with yourself is the highest form of self-love. And loving yourself is the start. You know, loving yourself is the true start to enlightenment. But you can be enlightened without loving yourself. That's why enlightenment's under love. 
and authenticity is above love because you can love yourself and still not be authentic, but you'll never be authentic without loving yourself. And that's just a cold hard truth right there. And you got to understand that. You got to know that. You got to be okay with knowing that too. Because though we always say love is the strongest power, authenticity is. Because authenticity can bring love. You know? It takes a while for love to go to authenticity. You know? Because love isn't always going to be authentic. You know? That's just how it is. You really have to look at it. There's there there it's things are positioned their way they are in this world for a reason. And it's not to say that one is better than the other, but it's to show you the latter. It's to show you where you start and where you go. There's no low and high, there's here and there. Okay? There's not a need to describe things that make something seem lesser. Because it's all equal. It's all energy. And, and low vibrational energy is still energy nonetheless. You know? It might not have a strong charge, but it's still energy. That doesn't mean it's less. It doesn't mean it's useless or weaker. Because it's still needed. You know? And these are just things you really have to get used to, especially on a spiritual journey. Like, a lot of people don't like combining the dark and the light. And that's, like, the main thing of being spiritual is to doing that. Like, people think spirituality is, like, love and light. No, spirituality is about knowing who you are. Yeah, you know your ancestors. That's awesome. You know your gods. Hell yeah. You know everything about your, like, your lineages and your tribes. Fuck yeah. Do you know why you cried a lot in seventh grade? I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just using that as an example. You know what I mean? But like, know yourself. Why did you cry then? What emotion was hit then? And these things are important because these cycles constantly happen. And though you might not cry at the same thing that happened to you, if it happened now, it would still bring up some emotion that would show itself on the external because it hasn't been looked at enough. If you know, you might be able to keep your cool for a minute, but then it's going to be in your head driving you nuts. You got to know yourself. How do you operate? How are you? How do you digest vibration? Rather than solid physical matter, how do you digest vibration? How does your body respond to vibration? Is it volatile? Does it feel poisoned? Does it feel good? Does it not know? These things need to be checked out and understood because if you don't know yourself, you don't know anything if you don't know yourself you might know your ancestors and all these things but not knowing yourself is how do you fit in you can't just copy your ancestors that's not what they want you to do, to do. they don't want you yeah you have to do everything the exact same way i'm doing it no do it your own way do it in a way that respects their values do it in a way that shows them that you care do it in a way that shows you that you can do it in multiple ways and that there is more than one solution to a problem. But that solution is going to lead to, I mean, that, that, you know, that the, the way you do it is still going to lead to the same answer always. And that's how you know it's right. That's the right. That's the right and the wrong. And you want to know what's doing something right is, is you'll know because you'll get there doesn't matter how long it takes. If you're wrong, you won't get there. Oh, I'm never going to heal. Well, yes, you are. The fact of the matter is you haven't even noticed about all this stuff that you healed from the past because it's small. You're healing. You're healed from those things. Heal does not mean... you Because the way we look at it, we look at an end goal. We don't look at side quests. No one likes doing side quests, right? Side quests are boring. The, all these tiny little things you're healing from is to heal from the one big thing, which is, which is you losing your grace and falling from heaven to earth. That's the one thing. is to, you, you lost yourself. You got to find yourself again. That's what you got to heal from. And healing from all these tiny things is going to get you there. Those are the side quests. The main mission is to connect with yourself again. 
And anyone on the spiritual journey knows that. Oh, the main journey. Like, you just got to know yourself. Love yourself. Be one. Love all. We're all one together. Like, yeah. that It's it's there. That's it's. I mean, I'm just breaking it down for you. If people don't do this. They, they just hear it. Oh, that sounds good. You know what else sounds good? Robbing a bank because I don't have money. <laughs> that sounds wonderful. You know? ignoring the fact that I could get in trouble. That sounds like a wonderful idea, right? You gotta be careful. And what about the people who are like charisma? They go out and swindle people and shit and scammers. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. Then they get robbed blind. You gotta go test this stuff out. You gotta go look at it. The whole part of the spiritual journey. Oh, you gotta be aware because you're asleep. Guess who's telling you that? Subject 301 in the sleeping pod right next to you is telling you that. They're not even awake and they're telling you that you're asleep. Because everyone knows that they're asleep to some degree. And hey, I'm not the fullest awake either. I'm asleep in some regard despite it too, you know? Because to fully be awake is to be connected back with the divine in harmony again. That. That is being fully connected to yourself. Not even having to worry about this world. You wouldn't even be here. You wouldn't even need to be here. Oh, I have God? Oh, God's... I have God with me. And everything's God. And it's not even me... Oh, and it's not just me knowing it and, and witnessing and yada yada. No. It's something inside of me that has now been cracked open. My yoke has been busted. I no longer have a reason on this earth. I'm a bounce out. And you just leave. Your soul would never need to reincarnate until it fell again. It would be back with the divine. And peace would be restored for you and for a percentage of the earth for the for the whole galaxy for the whole conundrum that we live in you know but that's that's the reality of it and we have to be aware of these things and just understand that even though we we feel certain ways we feel like we're able to I don't know I'm gonna just leave it there I'm going to leave that there. The divine is telling me just to leave that there. I got the point across pretty well. Yeah, but the page of pentacles are saying move on. And the king of pentacles, that, that kind of confirms everything from me. Thank you, divine. Yeah, and then we have the knight of pentacles. So here we go. We have the, the page of pentacles, the king of pentacles, the knight of pentacles. Right. They're so, and it's funny, the way these are light out, and I might, no, that's funny as fuck, that's cute. So yeah, the page of pentacles, and it's looking left, right? The card, I'll take a picture of it, and I'll put it on the screen, because it's really cool. Um, okay, but the page of pentacles is looking left, and the king of pentacles is looking right, and the knight of pentacles is, uh, no. The, the king and the knight of pentacles are looking left and the page is looking right. I don't know why I'm describing it. It's going to look awful having it on the screen and not saying it right. <laughs> anyway, I love myself so much like this. It's crazy. Um, but you can see like the they're looking at the inner child because there's something, there's some in inspirational spark, some intuitive spark that needs to happen. And you're moving forward following your your feelings, you know. And you know you have this hard work backing up your feelings, but they're both looking back to your inner child. And it's like your your masculine self is finally looking at you, at your inner child, and being like, so what's up? How how do how do we have fun? What is fun? Like how do we how do we do it? What's going on? And you you explain, like, this is how we do it to the six of swords. Everything becomes balanced again. I'm in the page of swords as well. Yeah. And the emperor, that's that's what the divine needs you to know is like this power transfer is coming back to you, but you just need to really, I don't know, focus on these things. And, and again, it's kind of hard to like work on these things without being presented with the idea of them. That's why I like to talk a little bit about them in death and give like examples because it's, if we're go, if you want to heal, and we're gonna heal, and we're gonna do this shit, then let's do it. Let me help you, cause like the shit that I've healed from. Let me just tell you, man. <laughs> if I didn't heal from that shit, 
Oh god, I'd be having I'd be doing bad stuff. Let me just tell you, if I did not heal child, I'd be off my rockers. So, I'm glad that I healed. And I'm glad I went through those lessons, too, because they were important for me. They were important for me to learn. You know, at the time, I might not have agreed with how they were um, given, but it's the energy that I put out, and I had to take it back. So, you know, unfortunately, I didn't understand the laws of the time, and my arrogance had me blind. But that's okay. And that's, that's how you have to look at it. It's like, yeah, you know, I fucked up because I just simply did not know. Does that make me a bad person? No. Does that mean I fucked up? Of course. Can I accept that? I should be able to. Because <laughs> if I can't accept it, then why did I do it? You know? And understand that. If you can't accept it, why did you do it? And it's like, can you not accept it morally or, or, or mentally? And that's another question. But regardless, we're not going to worry about that right now. But this, the Emperor... The Six of Swords and the Six of Wands all in reverse. That, man. That was almost 666. That's crazy. That would have been crazy. But, um. Seven, yeah. So there's the energy of needing to wait. There's just this really big pausing energy. Because it seems like everything is kind of slowing down. And it's, and it's, it's to help you, like. The divine knows what you want and what you need, but they really, really, really want you to just relax because you're not seeing what you want to see as fast as you want it to happen. And it's like... I mean, it's, I mean, you're fine. Like, there's just like you're beating yourself up a little bit. And then guess what's on the bottom of the deck? The Seven of Wands. Thank you, Spirit. Numerology out here. At, calling cards before they even fucking come out with numerology out here. Let's go. <laughs> um, but we have the Devil. That's the Tower. Excuse me, not the Devil. The Tower and the Eight of cups reverse you can't walk away from what's about to happen you just gotta you gotta sit through it and it's not gonna be bad but you need to not walk away from learning the lesson you know with the three of pinnacles reverse it's like the tower is not walking away from something when it's not working right that that you don't want to do because it, it feels bad which is why you're in this stalling area it's like i don't want to give up on this because i feel like it's going to do it and the divine's telling you like there's another path to take but you're not seeing it because you're so focused trying to nurture something for the world rather than you with the nine of cups because you can do all you can manifest you have the genie in the bottle you can manifest whatever you want but it's like your energy is so focused on other people and especially if you are doing spell work, focus more on blessing you because you've done a lot for people. And it's not to say that you need to do a spell on yourself to do something, but really like give yourself a really good like banishing or cleansing or like protection spell or something or like a uh, like an uncrossing or something. Or like a, a roadblock remover. Something like really just good. Fuck, just even like spiritual bath it up, you know? Because you need to like, all the energy that you get out of love is really like, it's beautiful. And it needs to come back to you. It's a death, change, Ace of Wands reverse. Because this, this lack of ideas, the lack of momentum, the lack of being able to juggle things with the Two of Pinnacle are going to change once you start Queen of, Pin Queen of Pinnacling yourself. When you start nurturing the things on the physical that your thoughts are saying that you can't do. Because this, this, you're almost blocked off from coming to yourself about a certain things. And, and, and when you, when you, when I say you need to connect with yourself and become, you know, get, you know, and yeah, we had the chair reverse too. So that's why you don't have the key. That's why nothing is moving because you're not connected with yourself. And when I say that, I don't mean it on one main thing. This is, this is in every aspect of life, which is why it takes a while, which is why it, keeps coming out and it's not to put you down but it's to tell you that it's a lot of work but look at all the work you've done already without even realizing it like you're breaking a lot of boundaries a lot quicker than you would think and 
that just needs to have an increased focus. A very, very increased focus. Anyway, let's see what's going on in the sacred geometry. Is that release? Release, trust, air. Yep. Okay. For the new life. New life knowledge. Healer, psychic. Yep. Release it. Start talking. You know what? You can release it. You can trust to release. Release your trust for this new life. Know that you're a healer and that you're psychic. For some of you, your new life is going to involve um, spiritual business. Like your whole life's going to just be nothing but spiritual. So just get ready for this shift because it's coming. Transformation, protection, and power. Child, I'm talking to some people that's really about to step into a life purpose. I'm talking to those that are really about to step up to something. I'm talking to the passionate ones, you know. And I know I keep saying, like, if you do magic, if you do whatever, it doesn't matter. If you make soap out of oils and herbs, get ready. Because that shit's like, whatever spiritual thing you're doing, get ready for its power to increase. Get ready to get a living off of that. Get ready for that to be your new life. It's happening now. It's already been set in fucking stone. You've seen your power some way or shape or form. And now you're, holy shit, I'm powerful. Because you know now, something's clicked inside of you. Your egg's cracking, so get used to it, because it's happening. And your yolk's going to explode, and it's going to be running all over the place. And you just got to have courage and transmute any sort of negative energy that's sent your way, because you can do it. This is shit that you were made to do. This is the shit that people try to stop you to get to. This is you. This is why you're here. You're about to step into why you're here. And it might not make sense at first, but... And you might not even believe in yourself still. But it cures the thing. Even with you not believing in yourself, it's still working to this degree. So imagine if you did believe in yourself. Imagine if you believed in yourself as in you believed other people. If you believed in other people the same way you believed in yourself. Let's say you're doing it. Let's say that I, I am going to use this for spell work because this is take this is confidence. When you do spell work, this doesn't matter what if it is. It doesn't matter if he's even burning a candle. It takes confidence. Okay. If you're doing a a cleansing spell for someone else and you're very passionate about it, you better have double that fucking passion for you. Because this is you you're talking about and someone else. Yes, of course you're protecting someone else, but why would you protect someone else over you? Don't be selfless. That is, again, ego. Being too selfless is ego. Being too selfish is ego. You gotta find the balance. Ego isn't a good or bad thing or a hard or soft thing. An ego is an excess. Oh, I, you're either too too down in the dumps or, or you're too cocky, you know? And, 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 and that's the ego. That's how the ego defines. But we have death and relief. But this is really going to, this, this change, this transformation, this whole rebirth, this change of direction is going to be easier on you. So don't worry. We have air. Expect some communication. You could be doing air magic. So that would be like words. That would be prayer magic. Um, all sorts of stuff. Um... I have also water. You could be doing air and water work. Uh, affirmations into, into, um, into water and stuff. You know. There's more air magic than that. Air also goes to frequencies too. So, you know. But regardless, however you do it. We do have gratitude. I was going to say candles. And I've been talking about candles for ever gratitude has the candle on it but again show gratitude light it. you know even just burning a candle for gratitude um you can burn a white candle for gratitude if you want you could also burn a pink or a green i don't know the exact color but those are the colors that i would recommend for it um especially if you don't have any like colored candles just get a white candle you can burn a white candle for it. Yeah, if you have a gray candle, that could work. And the only reason a black candle could work is it's banishing. So you could literally burn it to banish any type of lack of gratitude and use it for that. 
you know? People don't think about shit like that. People think it's a one-way street, dude. No, I'm over here fucking reading the rule book and playing the game differently than other people out here. You know what I mean? You got to do it, though. You got to read the rule book. It's like you, you hear all these things like, okay, so this is this. This candle does this. So if it does this, I can use it for the opposite effect to still get the same thing. So, oh, this is to, um, like, green candles give you money, right? You can also use a green candle to block someone's finances. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you how. It's not your... No one's business to know how to do that shit, you know? Well, someone's business, but... I just know this shit because it's, it's informational and I like knowing stuff, you know? And plus, it's good to know, like, if someone comes to me sometime and whenever I do open up my, my, my spell work stuff, if they come to me and I got to, like, be a doctor them, you know? As a shaman, I doctor people, so it's like even if I do spell work, I'm going to still, like, doctor the situation, do a reading on it, see what the fuck's going on, like... Oh, they got, like, a money blockage on them. So, like, how do I... Like, let's reverse that shit. You can reverse money blockages with green candles, you know? There's there's all sorts of ways to do stuff, you know? And there's, like, um... <laughs> it's, like, you know, just reverse engineering it, you know? Um, that's the one thing that's... Okay, I, I will talk about this as well while we're getting the angel cards out. That's the one thing music taught me. When I started making music, I had to reverse engineer a lot of sounds because I was trying to learn sound design. Um, and learn how to you know do all that stuff. So I would re I would get a bunch of presets and reverse engineer them. And reverse engineering is basically um, seeing the project complete, uh, seeing whatever you're doing complete, and then starting off on something new and mimic trying to mimic it, just copying it, uh, um, you know, step by step. Um, it's interesting. It's like looking, it's basically like looking at a microwave and then building a microwave while using the built microwave as a, uh, a reference point. You know what I mean? Um, same thing as the, as a puzzle, you basically are reverse engineering a puzzle. It's, it's put together on the box and then you literally have to take it apart. I mean, put it together, uh, based off of the image that it's a part of that's like reverse engineering that's like basic mechanics um but you got to reverse engineer stuff and especially if you want to know how to break spells and shit and you know what kind of spells people are under reverse engineer that shit those ingredients will tell you exactly how to block that shit and get rid of it i'm telling you people don't know that stuff you got to know this and i'm i'm a leak it i'm a leak it i'm a leaker sometimes okay i'll i will i will i will give the information out <laughs> i will not care <laughs> because it's the year, it's the age of knowing, and if you don't know, now you do. <laughs> <laughs> but we have open your heart with our angel Shamuel. Thank you, Shamuel, for removing the barriers around my heart. Loved one in heaven, thank you, loved ones in heaven, for drawing close at this time. Um, the divine physician, Archangel Raphael, thank you, Raphael, for shining your divine light upon my healthy body. Unconditional love, the Divine Mother. Thank you, Divine Mother, for helping me to give and receive the love I desire. The Miracle of Forgiveness, Archangel Jeremiah. Thank you, Jeremiah, for helping me understand the process of forgiveness. You are protected, Archangel Michael. This is huge confirmation for me. Wow. Thank you, Michael, for surrounding me with your protective light. Thank you, Michael. Synchronicity. Ah, okay, that's hilarious. Synchronicity. Thank you, angels. I trust your all time guidance and science. That's hilarious. Okay chill okay that's funny <laughs> anyway focus your mind thank you angels for helping me <laughs> thank you angels for helping me to focus on my priorities <laughs> take time to breathe thank you angels i breathe with ease knowing you're here peace and harmony archangel reguel thank you reguel for surrounding my life in a harmonious light uh manifesting miracles archangel orion thank you orion for manifesting your miracles in my world trustworthy friends thank you angels for surrounding me with people i can trust and love honor your feelings archangel hanael thank you hanael for supporting me i honor my emotions and last but not least spiritual support dear angels i allow you to support me as i grow to become more spiritually aware and that is your reading thank you angels Thank you, God, Mother, Father. Thank you, Divine. Thank you, Ancestors. Thank you, all beings of light who are here. Thank you, all beings in general that are here. And thank you, Collective, for being here. Um, I love you all so much. I really do. Um, if you're wanting bracelets or any of the um, other services that I offer, hit the description and hit the links or the email, and I got you. Um, 
if you no i already said all that never mind <laughs> never mind I, I got it all done one bit i'm fast with it today um but regardless i love you all so much to the moon and back to phone forever um thank you all so much for all the support genuinely um to the ones that have been here from from day one to the ones that come along just the ones that stick around and 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 stay i see you i i feel the energy i love you all so much i really do even to the newcomers that come around i love you all for even just viewing it for a second or even if you're just viewing this last part i love you too because it's you're just here so thank you for being here but from the bottom of my heart truly too but yeah thank you all so much for the comment the for all the likes comment shares subscribes um donations whether they're energetic or financial i appreciate both of them equally and wholly um but i love each and every one of you to the moon and back tenfold and forever, and I will see you all later.